<laughs> What's going on guys? Tony here. It's Friday. Uh, I'm doing a YouTube live. I don't do a lot of YouTube lives, but I wanted to touch base with you. So welcome to the Total Knee Replacement Support Group YouTube channel. Uh, I'm sitting in the clinic. I'm waiting on my next patient to come and all of a sudden my favorite rolling pin in the world. Look at this. Here are the parts. My favorite rolling pin in the world just broke. Uh, I'm going to glue it back together, but that reminded me, you know, guys, the rolling pin, as much as I love the rolling pin, the rolling pin has completely changed the way I treat patients after a total knee replacement. Um, as much as I love the rolling pin, the rolling pin is not our only option. So I wanted to show you this. If this looks familiar to you, like so many of us, this is a caster. It's the wheel that would go under a desk chair. Um, now this particular kind, I like the best. I buy this at Home Depot, it's like three, four bucks. Um, it's got the flat top and it's got kind of the swivel, so it's easy to manipulate. The way I hold this is I put my thumb and usually middle finger on the sides. I've got that little piece in the middle. And let me show you um, what we're looking at. I'm trying to pull my pant leg up here. Okay, so let's pretend for a second here is the post-surgical knee. Sorry for being so shaky, it's handheld today. Um, so the incision is, the superficial incision in theory would be down the middle. Many of you are gonna have an internal incision around the patella. You may or may not know exactly the procedure your surgeon followed. But a lot of times patients will complain of that kind of numbness and tingling on the inside part of the knee or they'll complain about some of that on the outside part of the knee. And so one of my favorite ways to, to handle that, once the incision is fully healed, is to use a little wheel like this, a little caster. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm trying to find the angle here. You guys are probably getting sick of watching this. But I'm gonna come in from the side. I'm gonna apply some pressure through the um, muscle, the, the medial, quad muscle down into some of those tendon attachments. I can come down. Another common complaint is kind of that anterior shin pain. I can work on the inside portion of the lower leg. I can work on the outside portion. Obviously there's no benefit of going on the bone, the tibia itself, but this gives me some great kind of leverage um, the, the way that I typically descri describe the benefit of something like this, it spreads the connective tissue, it spreads the muscle fibers. So where you would traditionally stretch, which is pulling lengthwise through the fibers, massage spreads the fibers cross fiber, horizontally. It facilitates fluid exchange. So some of the junk that needs to get out, you help mechanically pump some of that junk out. And really, the truth is, you're probably not walking in as active as you would be if you had already recovered from the knee or prior to surgery. So your muscles, your tendons, the, the joint, it doesn't know the difference between massage and exercise other than the massage won't make you stronger, it, but it will facilitate fluid exchange, desensitize some of the pain response, stretch some of the connective tissue. Now. You probably hear clinicians, and, and I've been known to say it in the past, you know, we're breaking adhesions, we're breaking scar tissue. Not, you're not doing any of that with this kind of massage. But just think of it as a tool you can use in conjunction with other stuff that hopefully will help you walk a little better, feel a little better, move a little bit more, because at the end of the day, what's going to get you back to where you want to be what's going to get you to the goal and the reason why you had the replacement in the first place is getting you moving more without more pain getting you moving more without more pain that's the the sweet spot there that we're looking for so guys standard wheel office chair caster please don't take it off your office chair and then have your spouse fall because they're going to go work on the computer uh, I hope you have an amazing weekend. I'll catch you on the next uh, YouTube Live.